Hello and welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to truncate table in MariaDB. So let's see the agenda for this whole video. So in this video, first we will understand the truncate table st statement in MariaDB. After this, we will understand how to truncate table in MariaDB with foreign key. Next, we will see how to truncate table in MariaDB only if it exists. Next, we will understand how we can truncate temporary tables and in the end, we will see how we can truncate multiple tables in MariaDB. So let's move to the first topic. Now to truncate table in MariaDB, we use the truncate table statement. The key role of this statement is to delete all the data from, from a table. So this truncate table statement is similar to delete statement without a where clause. The only difference is that when we use the delete statement, it deletes each row and then empties the whole table. Whereas when we use the truncate table statement, it will delete the entire table first and then recreate it without any data. So in comparison to a delete statement, truncate table statement is much more efficient and the truncate table statement is utilized on the tables which hold large amount of data. Now let's practically understand the usability of truncate table statement and how we can truncate a table. So for this, we will use this uh, table whose name is USA underscore states. It consists of these 10 rows. Now to truncate this table, we will simply use the truncate table statement. The statement goes something like this, truncate table and then the table name. So in our case, the table name is USA underscore states. Now when we execute this statement, so it has been executed successfully. Now let's use this select statement again. So here you can see all the data from this table has been deleted. Now let's move to the next topic. In this topic, we will understand how we can truncate a table in MariaDB, which either consists of a foreign key constraint or it has been referenced by the foreign key. Now for the illustration of this topic, we will use these two tables. First is the country table. Second is the state table. Now in the country table, uh, first column that is country ID is the primary key and it has been referenced in the state table. In the state table, state ID is the primary key and country ID is the foreign. So uh, next we will create these two tables and try to truncate both of them. So here is the SQL code for creating the country table. So first is the country ID which is of integer type and it is a primary key. Second is the country name which is of varchar 50 and the third one is country code which is again of varchar 50 type. And after creating the table, we are inserting four records in it. So records are something like this. First is the United States. Second is Canada. Third is Australian. Fourth is New Zealand. So after creating this table, uh, we will create this state table. Again, the state table also consists of three columns. First is the state ID, which is which is a primary key integer data type. Second is the state name, which is of varchar 50. And third one is again a uh, country ID of integer data type. And here we are creating the foreign key constraint. And in the state table, we have inserted six records. Now let's execute this query. Once it's executed, let's look at both of the tables. So this is the country table with four columns and country ID as primary key. And this column is also utilized as a constraint in the foreign key. So this is the state table. It consists of six records and three columns where state ID is the primary key and country ID is the foreign. Now let's try to truncate both of these tables using truncate table statement. Let's first truncate the country table. So here you can see one error which states cannot truncate a table reference in a foreign key constraint. So here we can say that uh, this is one small limitation of using truncate table statement. We cannot directly truncate a table which has been referenced by a foreign key. Now what is the solution for this? There are two methods that we can utilize to truncate a table which has been referenced as a foreign key. So first solution is to use the delete statement. As I told you, the role of delete statement is also the same. But instead of deleting the whole table, delete statement deletes rows one by one. So what we will do, we will not use the where clause here. So we will simply use this delete from country. So this statement will uh, delete the whole data from the country table and then we are using the alter table statement and uh, we are resetting the auto increment value to one. However, we can uh, only use this statement when the foreign key table is empty. 
so again uh, we will come back to this and truncate and try to truncate the state table so here we can see the command has been executed successfully let's check it using a select statement so uh, here we can see the state table has been truncated so by using the truncate statement we can easily truncate a table having foreign key column but we cannot truncate the table which has been referenced in foreign key now let's try to execute this statement delete from country again it will ask for a confirmation click on yes and you can see the command has been uh, executed successfully now there is one more method that we can use in this situation so uh, for this what we will do uh, we will uh, use this foreign key check and we will set its value to zero so by this what will happen uh, foreign key constraint will be disabled then we will use this truncate table statement on country and state table and after truncation we will again uh, set this foreign key check to one so it will basically re-enable it now let's insert some data back in the country table so here we have inserted now let's come back to the query again let's execute this one and after execution let's check by using this select statement on the country and state table let's click on execute and here we can see both country and state table has been truncated now again there is one issue with the truncate table statement so when we truncate a table uh, which does not exist in the in the database then the mariadb instance will basically return one error instead of country let's make it customers so here we can see uh, the instance returns an error which stating customer does not exist now in the next section we will understand how we can check the existence of a table and based upon the existence we will truncate the table so for this we will create a stored procedure here is the code for the stored procedure so here first we are using this create procedure command to create a stored procedure named truncate table if exist then uh, we have also taken one input parameter tbl which is used to pass the table name within this procedure so within this procedure first we are using this begin and statement and within this we are using this if exist and uh, within the if exist we have uh, using this select statement which will basically fetch the table name from this information schema dot tables and if this if exist returns true then what we are doing is we are preparing a sql query uh, using this concat function so concat what we will do uh, it will uh, concat this truncate table string with the name of the table that we will pass we are what we are doing we are preparing the statement and then we are executing it and again if this uh, if exists returns false uh, then we are simply returning one result set which states table does not exist now let's execute this sql script and create this stored procedure so once this stored procedure is created let's use this so we will call this procedure so let's first run the random name again we will put customers so customer table is uh, is not there in my database let's execute this and we will see this result set table does not exist now let's uh, use one table which is actually there in my database for this we will use this uh, department table which consists of these five rows and three columns so instead of customers we will put department table and click on execute so it doesn't return anything it means it been executed successfully now let's check it by using the select statement if i click on execute you can see the department table has been truncated till now we have seen how we can truncate standard tables in mariadb but what about temporary tables so a temporary table as as its name specify uh, is a table that we can use to store results for a temporary period of time it is limited to a current session in which it's it has been created so once the current session ends the temporary table also get deleted so let's understand how we can truncate a temporary table for this what we will do we will create a temporary table with name temp country uh, again it consists of three columns and we have also inserted some data in it so now let's execute the this statement to create this table and insert some data so now let's use the select statement to check the data of this table so here we can see it consists of uh, four rows and three columns now just like what we are doing with the standard mariadb table we will use this truncate table statement and we will click on execute once execution has been completed we will again use this select statement 
and we can see the table has been truncated now till now what we are doing we are using the truncate statement on a single table at a time but what if we want to truncate multiple tables so in that case what we will do uh, we will use this following query so what we are doing here is uh, first we have created this anonymous block within this block we are using for loop now the value of for loop is coming from this select statement which is fetching table names from this information schema dot tables now it will fetch other table names that we specify in this in statement here we have specified two table names first is usa state usa underscore states and second one is the state table next uh, within the for loop what we are doing is we are preparing this sql query using this concat function uh, where this concat function will concat this truncate table statement with the name of the table and then we are simply preparing the sql statement and then executing so uh, in this case we have taken two tables but uh, you can specify more table names now now let's execute this statement and check how multiple tables are truncated so the query has been executed so let's use the select statement to check let's click on execute so here we can see both uh, usa underscore states and state table has been truncated so with this we have come to the end of this video if you really like this video please uh, press the like button and do subscribe to our channel for uh, more tutorials like this thanks for watching have a great day